After the attack on Washington, the British decided their next target should be Baltimore. The people of Baltimore knew that they must be the next target and began to organize. Samuel Smith, a major general in the Maryland militia and a Revolutionary War veteran, was placed in charge of Baltimore's defenses. He immediately began drafting every able-bodied man into the militia. Before long, he had 9,000 men at his disposal. Earthworks started going up around the city, and it prepared for the expected onslaught. At 3 a.m. on the morning of September 12th, the British Army landed at North Point, about 14 miles from Baltimore. The next morning, they were on their way to Baltimore. About halfway there, they encountered their first resistance an American force of 3,185, commanded by General John Tricker, had constructed a strong defensive position across the road. While trying to get his men past the barrier, the British commander General Ross was struck and killed by an American sniper. After an artillery bombardment, the British managed to force the Americans back. However, instead of running, the Americans fell back to a prepared second position. From there to a third position, all along exacting a stiff price on the advancing British troops. Finally, late in the afternoon, the Americans fell back to a prepared position closer to the city. In the meantime, the British Navy, who could not get close enough to Baltimore itself to bombard it due to the shallow water, instead tried to destroy Fort McHenry below the city. They bombarded the fort all night, but with little effect. When they tried to move too close, American fire forced them away, Thus was born Francis Scott Key Ballad that became the Star Spangled Banner. In the meantime, Colonel Arthur Brooke, in command of the British forces, advanced toward Baltimore. When he came upon the American final line of defense, a well-defended earthwork, he paused. After conferring with his officers and learning that he could not receive any naval support, Brooke ordered a withdrawal, and thus the attack on Baltimore came to an end. The American